There were tactical disagreements about the boldness of approaches soliciting donations. I was told, and I'm paraphrasing, by asking... Yes, welcome back. This is bad news. I got the full video breaking James O'Keefe remove as CEO of Project Veritas. Somebody wrote, all of this started after the last expose with Pfizer executive. Pfizer most likely pressure O'Brien members of Project Veritas board who apparently decided to fire the founder. What I'm seeing on Twitter is extremely disturbing. A lot of people are saying, I'm going straight to answer. I will not follow Project Veritas. I will play a video so you can know what happened initially. If you have not subscribed to the channel, please endeavor to do that. And if possible, why not share this clip? Project Vareta Executive Director Daniel last Wednesday released a statement on James O'Keefe's statute with the organization. Last Wednesday, New York Magazine reported that James O'Keefe was placed on paid leave from Project Vareta and will be taking a few weeks of where deserve PTO. There were tactical disagreements about the boldness of approaches soliciting donations. I was told, and I'm paraphrasing, by asking for X dollars right now, you will prevent 10 X dollars down the road. That advice ran contrary to everything I knew to be true in my 13 years of fundraising. Um, but that conflict was even more fundamental and essentially boiled down to this. And my vision, I'm going to paraphrase Howard Rourke, the architect, quote, I don't have, I don't build in order to have donors. I have donors in order to build. That's what I believed, and I felt like we had a conflict of visions. We measure our success in terms of what we produce, not just in terms of our wallets. That was a pretty fundamental conflict, I felt. The day prior, I had informed him in front of his colleagues that he, if he wasn't willing to follow my lead, he'd be shown the door. I tried to deal with it privately, but I was unsuccessful, and the disagreement boiled over publicly in a staff meeting. The next day, this individual refused to resign, so I fired him. Later that same day, that's Feb Thursday, February 2nd, a few days after the 50 million views, I was informed by a different officer of Project Veritas that he would go to the board in a few hours from that moment and have an emergency vote to restructure this company, receiving an agenda in my email while I was sitting on an airplane tarmac with the doors closing the, the meeting was scheduled for the moment that my plane landed in Nashville. It became clear to me in that moment I would be removed from my position at Project Veritas by the time I landed at my destination. So, our mission continues on. I'm not done. Yes, if you realize this video, the leaked footage that I just got, I created this video a few hours ago, I realized I didn't have enough information of what is going on. Now, I saw this clip where James O'Keefe is very emotional. When you take a look at what is happening, I have seen a lot of people express dissatisfaction to what is going on. I don't believe some people will continue to follow Project Veritas. Truth be told, I never knew this is how, or this is exactly what was going on. I am extremely shocked, you know, to realize this. Our mission continues on. I'm not done. The mission will perhaps take on a new name, and it may be no longer called Veritas, Project Veritas. I'll need a bunch of people around me, and I'll make sure... I'll make sure you know how to find me. So with that, I'm going to collect my things. I'm going to load them into my car. And I hope to see some of you soon. Now, from his conclusion, he's creating another company like he has mentioned. I believe Project Veritas is done. A lot of people will actually leave. I'm just here to report 
what is going on, and I'm still here to follow up to bring you real information how Project Veritas is doing while we await what James O'Keefe is bringing. If you have not subscribed to this channel, please endeavor to do that. And if possible, share this video. For people who don't know what exactly happened, I did this clip a few weeks ago. I'm going to replay it so you can see how what went on. Director Daniel last Wednesday released a statement on James O'Keefe's statement with the organization. Last Wednesday, New York Magazine reported that James O'Keefe was placed on paid leave from Project Veritas and will be taking a few weeks of where deserved PTO. There, my name is Diana Remmers, and I'm actually here in Mexico on vacation with my husband, and um, I've been made aware of uh, allegations towards James O'Keefe with Project Veritas uh, through the news, you know, a little bit on news, a little bit on social media and whatnot, and I realized actually that one of the allegations and grievances towards James is about a situation that involved me with James in uh, December, I'm sorry, November 2021 in Florida at a David Horowitz event where the allegations are that he was extremely rude to one of his donors, which happens to be me, and that's completely blown out of proportion. Um, I asked him to take a picture and he, you know, had a lot of people running at him asking for different things and he wasn't thrilled about getting a picture at that moment, but he did. We've, we've had, we actually, after that, we had a great conversation. We've become great friends and I've had uh, events for him, one in Beverly Hills. He's been a personal guest of mine at mar lago for a turning point event and I'm going to continue to support him. And I'm really very disappointed in the petty allegations towards him. They're actually completely false and ridiculous. So I will continue supporting James as long as he's with Project Veritas because without Project Veritas, without James, Project Veritas is nothing. So. That's all I have to say. Just wanted to set the record straight and I hope everybody has a good day. One of the groups out there that, I, I, you know, we're almost natural friends. And of course we are friends, friends, organizationally. And I've always um, admired James O'Keefe who runs Project Veritas. He's a great journalist. He and his colleagues do great muckraking uh, to expose corruption in government and the private sector and lies usually by uh, using videos, investigative video techniques uh, that get um, their targets to confess to misconduct or expose misconduct. Through a Project Veritas spokesman, Strack later released a statement on behalf of the organization. Like all newsroom, at this stage, the Project Veritas board of directors and management are constantly reevaluating what the best path forward is for the organization